and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Devil's Dead, and we are back for another game, and I can proudly say, finally, the Devils win 3-2 against the Detroit Red Wings in regulation time, no point for Detroit, Devils win 3-2 in their First win in a, a couple of games where it has definitely hurt. We had the Oilers game beforehand, which was just misery. But today, we are no longer miserable. We are happy. We are good to go. Um, So, very quickly, welcome back to another episode of Devil's Den. We are officially three subscribers away from our 60-sub goal. So... If you're not subscribed, if you're part of the 70% of people who watch my videos and aren't subbed, please make my Christmas, make my New Year, and subscribe. It's totally free, and it is all on you. We need three more subscribers to hit our 60 goal mark for December. So, let's end that and get right into the game. Devils win 3-2 against the Detroit Red Wings, and Finally, we get a nice two points at home. It feels like it's been forever. It's been like two games, but it feels like it's been longer. Oh, finally, ladies and gentlemen, Devils are back. Are the Devils back? Maybe. We'll see. But Devils are tonight. The Devils are back. And it's a great win. It's a good win. Um, So we, uh, we start in traditional uh devil's fashion with detroit scoring five minutes into the like less than five minutes into the game i'm sitting there going oh it's happening again death can't come soon enough uh so detroit goes up one nothing but never fear because timo meyer is here Timo scores, it goes 1-1, we go to the second period, a tie game, but not to fear, because, uh, 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 boiled, to uh, I don't even know what I'm saying, doesn't matter, Timo Meyer scores again, it's 2-1 Devils, but of course, a good thing comes and goes as quickly as a breath of oxygen and Detroit scores again making it two to two and we go into the third period but who decides to arrive but the man the myth the legend Tyler Toffoli who has been uh, a little inconsistent as of late scores and it puts the Devils up three two Bratton and Jack Hughes Get the assist on the Tyler Foley goal. McLeod gets the assist on the second Timo goal. Um, and Devils win 3-2. Nice and easy. So, that's sort of the overview for the game. Let's talk about uh, the nitty-gritty details of the game. So, first of all, is Vanacek back? Probably not. But, hey, he wins the game. He is the goal on record for the win. Good for Vanacek. And he finishes the game with a save percentage over 900. Um, I'm going to be honest. I thought Vanacek played not too bad tonight. Second goal was kind of, eh, could have had a glove, glove up a little higher. First goal, totally not his fault. I, the, the, you got four guys pinching to the top of the blue line, leaving like three Detroit guys by themselves in front of Vanacek with, I think it's either Hughes or Nemitz, just like, uh, guys, where'd everybody go as he's trying to defend, like, three Red Wings? One, two of them being Patrick Kane and Alex DeBrinkett. Like, I, I don't know, man. It, it's a goal. It, it, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, Vanacek does get the W, which I'm so glad that he does, because while I think we can all agree that Vanacek and Schmidt have played, like, absolute dumpster fire this season they have not played well this year at all no one is defending this at this point um it is nice where you can kind of go you know what they had a good game tonight they had a good game and i think that we should celebrate that a little bit it's it, it, it's the little things that i think we should sort of take the time to be like you know what good game vanacek you did well there was a couple of times in the, at the end of the third period where i was like uh, please stop what you're doing, but it's fine. 
it's all good. It's all, we're all just here to have fun. We're all just here to, why is the, uh, why is the trend coming down on a 2 on one It's all okay. Deep breaths. Why is the tray coming down on a three on one? Deep breaths. It's all, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to say it. Uh, Michael McLeod may be moving into my top three guys on the New Jersey Devils at this point because he has played so well and stepped up where it, it matters for this team because you've got guys like Jack Hughes. And again, to be clear... I'm not complaining about Jack. I'm not, you know, throwing him under the bus. I'm not saying he's bad. This guy's going to win hearts and rocket Richards in his career. But Jack hasn't been a whole hell, hasn't really been present. He gets the assist tonight, which is great. But he's getting like, what, one, two shots a game. Not great. But you know who is getting shots and goals right now? It's Michael McLeod. Um, he stepped up in a big way. Uh, my the last two games has been fantastic, getting three goals. In two games, are we seeing the Timo Meyer redemption arc? I hope so, because I do want to see the guy that we just signed to a eight-year contract with like $8 million per year. I, I kind of hope he does well, that he's not a complete bust, but doesn't matter. Timo gets two. McLeod gets the assist on one of them. Toffoli gets a goal. He's been struggling a little bit just because, you know, you can't score a goal every game. You can't be, you can't be, you know, like, I don't know, Kucherov, the Tampa Bay Lightning, or like Besser from Vancouver getting, or Austin Matthews from the Leafs. You, you can't get a goal every game, but Michael McLeod is slowly and surely starting to become one of my favorite Devils. Um, I always loved him, but like, Recently, especially recently, like the last five to six games, he's been stepping up, stepping up. Mwah, chef's kiss. I love you. Um, who else do I want to talk about right now? We talked about McLeod. We talked about Meyer. We talked about Hughes and Brad getting assists, which is great. Vanacek getting the W, which is fantastic. Oh, I know who I wanted to talk about. Let's talk about the Red Wings for a second, okay? <clears throat> Michael Hutchinson is playing his first NHL game in a very long time. And I'm not going to lie. The New Jersey Devils have the unique ability to make goalies, which have absolutely no business playing like superstars in the NHL, and turning them into goalies that Martin Broder himself would be like, that guy's pretty good. That guy's... That guy's going somewhere. And, like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. We did this with uh, Mers Lincolns. We did this with uh, tonight against um, uh, Hutchinson. We did this with so many goalies where New Jersey comes in and we have all of the firepower in the world with, like, Hughes and Brat and Mercer and Palat and Meyer and, like, all of these, like, amazing goal scorers. But, like... We get like 30 to 40 shots on goal and no one can put it past a goalie on Detroit that's like played in the AHL for the last like year and a half to two years. I don't know. Kind of seems weird. Kind of seems weird. But you know what? Credit where credit is due to Detroit. <coughs> if you're watching this and you are a Detroit fan, Michael Hutchinson did all right tonight. Michael Hutchinson did a good job tonight and I feel like credit where credit is due. He made a bunch of really big saves. Uh, specifically, I remember the one glove save he made, which was absolutely fantastic in the third period, where he just comes across, and I think it was robbing Brat or whoever it was. But yeah, no, um, I'm just really happy. It, it, it's hard to like talk for quite a while on a game where you win because you're just like, yay, we won. I just want to feel, I just want to feel happy. I just want to feel happy for like two seconds. Um, but yeah. We play, I think it's Columbus next Wednesday, I believe it is. So I'm hoping to get two points from Columbus, finish up this homestand, finish the homestand 2-2-1, two, two, and one, which out of a possible 10 points, you get five. Should we be getting more? Absolutely, but like five out of 10 isn't terrible. I mean, what, we've got what? 48 to 50 games left in the season. That's potentially 100 points. If you got 50 points, add on to the 32 we already have. You're sitting at 82. 
that's giving you maybe a wild card spot. So obviously you want to do it a little bit more than just getting half the points that you're possibly wanting to get in, you know, those length of games. But I'm hoping we can get the win against Columbus in regulation, preferably get the two points and uh, finish the homestand two, two and one. So yeah, uh, I think that is going to be it for me this time, guys. Um, again, uh, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and sub. We need three more subscribers. Three, one, one, two, three subscribers to meet our goal for the end of December. And uh, really quickly, I meant to do this last video, but I'll do it now because we are literally on the on the eve of, sorry, I just had someone in my house just like blow their lung out. Um, <coughs> I am not a, for those of you who don't, who don't know, uh, I'm not a big Christmas person. I never have been a big Christmas person. This time of the year actually makes me quite, um, quite down. I, I, I get the, I get the winter blues around this time of the year. I've never been a big Christmas person, but because of the devil's win tonight, um, I'll say this. Um, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, um, and I hope you guys get to spend time with family, eat a lot of food, um, really just, you know, get into the spirit of how Christmas should be, you know, spending time with family, spending time with loved ones, being able to, you know, have, because th these are the times of year where, like, you really want to get those really nice and good memories of family and friends and all of that stuff, so... From uh, my family to your guys, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Um, and we'll be back on Wednesday night, hopefully, against Columbus. Let's hope for the two points. But yeah, <sighs> Merry Christmas to you guys. And I'll see you guys for the Wednesday night game against Columbus. Adios.